The first step to successfully installing a BEMP belt scale is becoming familiar with the components in the system. A belt scale assembly performs the actual work of measuring weight. It consists of two load cells, a left hand and a right hand. A terminal box connects the sensors in the scales to an indicator, a controller, or a digital readout. The work of calibrating the system requires two test weights that are included with each belt scale. For variable speed conveyor belts, an optional speed sensor can be used in place of a belt speed parameter. All the components are mounted on one of the idlers within an existing belt conveyor. When all of the components are properly installed and operational, four key variables are under control. The speed of the belt is not impeded. The belt scale is mounted on an idler that is only slightly higher than the idlers on either side of it. The distance between the rollers on both sides of the scale are equal when the BEMP belt scale is installed correctly. The scale idler will be square with respect to the other idlers in front of it and behind it. The first task in the installation process is to choose the proper location by selecting an idler from the belt conveyor that will be used to attach the belt scale. The idler should be in good working condition with no wear or flat spots on the rollers. The bearings should be in excellent condition and the support components need to be structurally sound. We recommend an idler in the lower third of the conveyor. Once you have found the right idler, remove or torch cut the mounting pads on each side of the idler. Leave a set of clearance notches for the way idler that measure one inch by three inches. The next step is to locate and cut holes in the conveyor stringer to mount the belt scale using a drill or torch. Four mounting holes will be needed, two in each stringer. The stringers should be rigid enough to support the idler and the material load without deflection. Before drilling, lay out the hole locations. The holes should be 9 16 of an inch in diameter and 5 inches apart from center. The holes must be positioned 3 quarter inches from inside of the stringer and 3 and 5 8 inches up from the axis line of the scale's way idler. It is important that the holes are square to one another. Test for squareness by measuring the diagonals between holes. If there is less than 1 8 of an inch difference between the diagonal lengths, the holes are sufficiently square. Now that the holes are in the proper place, use them to mount the belt scale units to the stringer. Finish this step by mounting the idler to the belt scale units. At this point, the components may be attached, but accuracy demands that they be properly aligned as well. Proper alignment is essential to obtain accurate weight information. The alignment process begins by tying a string as taut as possible on the center rollers of the troughing idlers through the scale area. To complete this process, you'll need two sections of one quarter inch diameter rod. Place the rods beneath both of the adjacent idlers, which will lower the string by one quarter inch. Using the string as a guide, proceed to adjust all idlers in the scale area to within one sixteenth of an inch. Idlers can be adjusted by placing flat washers or bar stock beneath them holding the shims in place with the idler mounting clips. Be sure to recheck alignment after installing the shims. As a precaution, do not pry or shock the load cell when lifting or adjusting the scale way idler. The system is now in proper alignment. Before a final tightening, check the vertical and diagonal alignment once more to be sure the system is square and at the proper height.